Stevenson falls to Tufts 16-13. Joined now in the all-access postgame show by the head coach of the Mustangs, po Coach Paul Canta being coach. It was a one-goal game at the half. Um, things seemed to get away a little bit in the third quarter. What went wrong? Uh, well, you, you know, we were in a position to make all the plays. You know, we got to make the plays. And I thought we broke down too much defensively at times. You know, our guys weren't behind their guys. I thought we made a great change at the, uh, the second quarter about how we were playing defense. And we, you know, our guys, it's one of those games where you have to make plays and some tough plays. And, you know, we didn't handle their clear well. Guys were panicking a little bit. We had too many drop passes and we made too many mistakes in order to win this game. You know, we had every, all the chances. We had a lot of one-on-ones, a lot of quality opportunities. And we got to put them away. We got to start making those plays. But, you know, I give our guys credit. We play hard. We play hard the whole game. And uh, we got to get after it. We have to get some. We got to get some more guys playing better. And we're just not getting everybody quite in the same page. You know, offensively, I thought we did some really great things tonight. But we got to, you know, you got to finish the opportunities. And uh, we got to get more out of Wade. You know, he's just not getting what we we need to get out of him right now. So Tyler Furman gave us some quality minutes, but we're missing some easy things. You know, they're a good team. They made some quality shots. I thought, you know, the both goalies are under tremendous stress. You know, we didn't get any bounces. You know, even that last goal that goes in, we throw it, it hits a stick, bounces right to their guy in front of the goal, and uh, they throw it in. But that's tough. That's a tough break. You know, and. Uh, and I thought, you know, um, you know, but it's a good game. It's a great team. 105 shots. Both teams really went after each other. A lot of great players out there. So uh, the fans got a good treat, at least. I think the fans enjoyed the game. <laughs> Coach, you struggled a little bit at the faceoff X. You went to Dan Holla in the second half, or really what, the third quarter, or late in the third quarter. I thought he gave you guys a better matchup with a size-wise. Mm -hmm. um, what well, did you see out of Dan? Well, Dan's just a lot stronger than the other two guys. And I thought going to him gave us a real opportunity. But, you know, we weren't giving ourselves the best chance on the, on, on the faceoff either because we got out of position a few times. We gave up a couple goals because we were a poor positioning or guys uh, didn't really understand where they needed to be. A couple made a few mistakes there and that cost us a little bit. Once we made those changes, I thought Dan did a great job giving us because he is so strong and really grinded it out and, and uh, did a good job there for the most part. You know, that kid's a big kid, uh, tough kid, and uh, he made some plays, but I thought we, you know, in the end, you know, we, we gave ourselves we gave ourselves a chance. You know, in the you know, we lose the face off stat by three, I think, but you know, we gave ourselves a chance there. The uh, you mentioned the clears. There's an adage in basketball that teams that press don't like to be pressed. You saw your ten man ride team, they went to the ten man ride. Was was that an impact in, well, in no, the Well, no, I think we really understood that you know they had a big hole in the middle between the uh, the uh, restraining line and the midfield line their side, and we didn't quite get it there. Our guys were trying to run it out. There's guys are open deep. We have to make the extra pass on the side, and we kept trying to run through it, and that's not what we want to do. It's not how we practice it. We got to make that easy pass to the middle. And when we did that, we broke it rather easily and got a couple opportunities. And but a couple times, you know, we missed a guy. You know, Tristan Pace is wide open. We have two guys wide open. He throws it a mile over his head. Goltz comes down. He's in the air. And tries to make a pass, and he misses it. So you know, it's you know, we made some of those easy mistakes that cost us in the end. So we had opportunities, but we have to do a better job. Coach, obviously uh, tough to lose two games back to back here to ranked opponents. You get an opportunity um, to come back out, I think, next week or this weekend and play uh, a conference game. And then obviously you get to travel down to Salisbury the next day. What are you going to tell your team in the next couple of days that they have in front of them with the rest of the season? Well, we still got everything in front of us. You know, we're still three and three. We played six ranked teams in a row. Nobody else has really done that. This is our third top six team and probably be a third top five team by the end of the week. You know, I think York will probably move up. And, and then, you know, we get to play another top five team. That's what we do. Nobody's playing those kind of teams week in and week out when you play those quality teams week in and week out. Uh, you might get a loss here or there, but I still like how we play. I think we got a, some tough kids and uh, we can clean some things up and I think we've, we're only getting better as time goes and, you know, Tufts is this is their first real test. They came out and, you know, we had two tough games and you know, I'm, I'm definitely putting our team in a tough situation with our schedule, but you know, I think we're still playing hard and, you know, when you know, some teams are able to warm up and get three or four games against not as good as quality opponents and then all of a sudden you're able to ramp up and do that, you know, it's to their advantage a little bit, but, you know, we like to play who we do and we'll, we had a chance to win all the games we were in, and uh, we just got to we got to make some mistakes. It's hopefully only going to make us better for our conference play. Hopefully, only going to make us better for the NCAA tournament and those type of events. Let's wrap with a positive. The guy you're bringing up to talk to us tonight was a pretty good finisher. Oh yeah, well JT's doing a good job. I think he played better, but I think you know talking to JT himself, he'll tell you he probably should have had a couple more. And uh, you know, but I'm tough on JT. He's getting better, first time playing back, and he cares. He wants to get better, and but we need him to keep finishing the ball like he's doing because our first midfield line's doing a great job. Watson's really starting to play better. We're, you know, we're getting us some good opportunities offensively. Uh, we just got to continue to do it and uh, everybody get better. But it was good that JT played today and played well and scored five goals. And, you know, hopefully uh, that will continue. Coach, appreciate the time. We'll talk to you for Lebanon Valley. Thank you very much.